Hi, I'm Noah Wilson from iHollywood TV. Well, our next guest has a holiday album that's out in stores now worldwide, Winter in the Air. Please welcome David Archuleta joining us through VI Skype. Hello, David. Hi. Hi, it's great to have you. Well, thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so the holidays are upon us. You know, we're <laughs> going to be getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Well, um... David, you've had such a successful career so far, like, uh, you know, and I think you've always been very passionate for music, really at a young age, because um, in case people don't know, you know, your entire family, I feel like, is really talented, you know, they, they, they've all kind of, um, you know, have something to do with music, and your mom, um, aka Mama Lupe, uh, actually <laughs> taught you and your four siblings at an early age how to, like, dance and, to, you know, to sing, and, you know, to, and you guys would perform in front of your neighbors, so kind of take yeah. me back to your childhood days and how music really, you know, started for you. Well, we, uh, yeah, you, you got it pretty well. My my mom, she sings. Yeah. She used to dance because she's Central American from Honduras. So mm -hmm. she would, she loved the salsa music. And then my dad was a jazz trumpet musician. Uh -huh. And when we were little, they would have all of us put on Santa hats and we'd go around and sing Christmas carols. And as we got older, yeah, she started teaching my siblings and well, all of us just uh, three-part harmony Christmas carols, so we'd start doing that, mm -hmm. harmonized to our neighbors, and it was always fun. It, you know, our neighbors would really appreciate it, especially like the the older ones, the elderly neighbors yeah. that we'd have. They probably they probably say, "Oh, look at that cute little family <laughs> singing their souls out during the holiday season." <laughs> yeah, we uh, actually still do it. We we still go in Christmas really? carol to yeah. That's awesome. See, we need more carolers in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had one. One time I went, actually with my band, we went uh, Christmas caroling and to some mm -hmm. one of my friend's neighbors and one of the ladies. So I was like, you should go on American Idol. You you, oh. you actually, you, you, you ought to try out for that show sometime. I think you'd do well. I'm like, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and look, kind of fun. you were on Idol, yeah. Back in, you know, a couple of years ago, you were on American Idol. Um and you were in second place, and which was you know on the seventh season, of course, back in two thousand eight. Uh, you know, do people ever uh, speaking about Idol? Do people ever you know come up to you at the store say like, oh, there's that guy from American Idol? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Every now and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's good. I make new friends from it because usually I'm not the one going up and talking to them. You know, it gives <laughs> it gives us the starter. For conversation and I've made a lot of good friends here I live in I live in uh, Nashville now what's wow. nice is a lot of people know in, there are a lot of musicians and performers here that have you know recognizable faces but people usually are pretty chill about it mm -hmm. so it's it's nice well, I mean, you've been doing so much too. You know, you've had a um, a good bit of albums, you know, drop out and release since you know your from your time from Idol. Um, and two, what one of my personally favorite songs from you, David, was a song called "Crush." You know, people they know that song. That song has been played like millions of times. Um, yeah, did you ever think when you were recording that particular song, did you ever think it would blow up and become big? Because I mean, people, I think it still gets it's airplay today on the radio yeah uh thank you by the way i i didn't think it would be as as well known as it is mm -hmm. and it's crazy to think it was 10 years ago that that song came out but um yeah I, i'll be even i'll be out and about and it's like oh there it is <laughs> at the airport or at the grocery store yeah or um it's it's pretty funny um and people still listen to it and still enjoy it. I'm I'm a surprise because I I think people I just assume people move on. You know, there's always mm -hmm. new stuff coming out every year, but the fact that people still like it makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, David, 
I, I'm not just saying this because, you know, we're talking right here, but like, literally, I played it today and I, I play it like, you know, it's like a song <laughs> that I'll play like every day because, you know, it's like I, I love to play music and, you know, music gets me, you know, going, you know, I think feel like a lot of people, you know, they play music, uh, you know, to get their day started. And, you know, that's one of the songs on my playlist that literally plays every day. And I'll be like, oh, you know, oh, and wow. then, yeah, and then I'm like, Oh my gosh, now we're actually, you know, going to have David on the show. How cool is that? <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's a really great song. Okay, so Thank let's you. go. Oh, you're very welcome. Well, let's go ahead and get into, um, you know, you did take some time in your career, um, two years, you know, went on a, on a two year hiatus to be a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of uh, Latter day Saints. Um, in your two year mission, what did you learn and how did it really shape your life and impact you? Well, it, um, it was pretty drastic from uh -huh. being in the entertainment industry. Like a lot of people, when I was going on my mission, they're like, what the heck are you doing? Like, uh -huh. that's so stupid. Like, why on earth would you do that? I mean, mm -hmm. two years. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be on social media or anything like that. I'm just going to focus on help serving other people and like mm -hmm. relationship with God and um, yeah. teaching other people to do the same. And bringing them to him and to Christ. And mm -hmm. people were like, what on earth? Like you're, you're trying to go be a missionary and help other people. Like you're doing a lot better. You're doing a lot more of that where you are right now. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I, I guess there are a lot more people I can reach here. That's true. But I think that's where I felt like I, aside from just learning how to completely give myself to other people, I think I kind of had to be a little selfish and take some time to take care of myself too. Mm -hmm. And, um, it, it, it really, I guess it, I learned that it wasn't about, it wasn't about how much money you were making, how many followers and millions of, edit, you know, whether it's millions of likes and fans or listens and or sales, that's not mm -hmm. what's going to make you happy. Right. I've, and to be able to compare that to being in the middle of nowhere, walking down dirt roads and it, it gave me perspective and I wrote a lot about it on my album, I did an album last year called Postcards in the Sky yeah. about a lot of that new perspective I gained on the meaning of what life really is about. And that's really interesting that you say that because I feel like a lot of people today, especially in the young generation, they feel as if, oh, they if they have a lot of likes and a lot of followers that they're winning, you know, and then, you know, that, that, oh, I'm the most popular, you know, so I feel like that, um, I mean, like you said, that's not going to make you happy. You know, so and two, do you be, do you believe that your upcoming, um, you know, from your family, your relationship with Jesus Christ has affected of how you perform, how you write, and you know how your creativity is involved? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Some something that I did. I mean, I was afraid of telling people I was religious because I thought, oh, it's not cool and it's not. I don't know. Usually when people are like, oh, you're religious, you know, that means you're judgmental and you're mm -hmm. hateful. But I learned that, you know what, it's it's OK to be who I am and live to what matters to me. So I I actually started like now I start every video I do, every songwriting session I do with a prayer. And I usually try to tell people like I try to be sensitive, you know, because mm -hmm. I was like, hey, so are you religious? And it opens up like conversation like oh, well, actually, I'm Buddhist, or actually, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm agnostic, or, yeah. oh, I grew, I grew up Jewish, or I, I grew up Catholic, I grew up Baptist, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of, by the end of the rite, and by the end of the session, a lot of people will be like, you know what, this was really cool, like, or this was this really special rite, I think it was because of that prayer that we yeah. started with, but, and it's, it's kind of cool, like, I think everyone is looking for something greater regardless of where they come from, their background, they, they want to connect to something higher and something deeper and um, mm. want to have kind of that touch of spirituality. And it's it's been cool to offer that to people, even though I'm not on my mission anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about your holiday album here. So um, you've actually released two holiday albums. This is, you know, the second uh, holiday album that you have released. So what made you want to get back in the studio and record holiday album number two? <laughs> well, when I was, I did my first Christmas album, Christmas from the Heart. Yeah. 
And when I was making that one, I was like, man, I love Christmas way too much. There's no way I can just, I can't sing all the songs I want to sing on just one album. Like nine yeah. years ago, even I was like, I, I'm going to have to make another one. So it just, it was the right time to do it here. And I, I wanted to have a little more fun. So like songs like Holly Jolly Christmas, White Christmas. Mm. And my, my new song, I, I try to push myself writing a happy, bouncy Christmas song myself. So Christmas Every Day mm-hmm. um, came out of that. And, and then like, you know, still kind of the reason for the season, songs like Mary Did You Know or a song yeah. I wrote called He Is Born. Um, just to still have that spiritual side to Christmas too. But just kind of something for everyone so people can connect to those memories that they have of the holidays, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great album. I mean, I've been listening to it. And to this album, you know, Winter in the Air, it really gets you in the holiday spirit, like I was telling David before we came on uh, to do this interview. It's really good. I really like it a lot. The music video to the song Christmas Every Day was shot, and I watched it, and it's just, it's great to see, you know, so much activity and, you know, everyone just in the holiday spirit in the music video. Um, how was it like uh, on, being on set filming the music video to the track Christmas Every Day? Because it looks like from the video itself, <laughs> you guys had a lot of fun. It was fun. <laughs> I, I told the director, I was like, I want this to look like a like a t- holiday TV commercial. Like yeah. Gap, Old Navy or something. And so it's he he pulled it off pretty well and we had a lot of fun having some dancers and just holiday decorations and mm. and even Santa Claus in the video and Santa the the Santa Claus we had was he was really really nice guy really yeah. really good man <laughs> <laughs> he was giving us he was giving us life advice backstage my sister was there and he was telling oh. us how to have a good marriage and how to have like a good, just live a good life. And he's, he's really cool. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Well, okay. So, um, what is one thing, cause you, you know, you did say earlier in the interview, speaking about Christmas, uh, you know, one thing that you got, you and your family do is you go Christmas caroling. Um, what is one thing, uh, that you like most about Christmas, you know, that, that, that you really love? Um, I just, I love the Christmas spirit. I think it's contagious. You see everyone like suddenly doing nice things yeah. for strangers for like showing up on their doorstep and singing songs for them. Like yeah. what, I mean, why on earth do people do that? And like, when, what other time of year do people do that? It's, there's like something fun about Christmas and memories, making time for your family um, the songs too, I think the songs have a magic to them that makes Christmas what it is. And it turns people to such a sp- special historical event, you know, mm-hmm. with, um, Christ's birth and stuff. I, I think it brings that Christmas spirit and touches people and it reminds people of what really matters. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I love all of that about Christmas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, Winter in the Air is now available. Um, you can stream it on Spotify, get it on iTunes, purchase, purchase it online in the store. And you're having a holiday tour, too. The holiday tour, Winter in the Air. Kind of tell us a little bit about that before we have to go here. Winter in the Air oh. holiday tour. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing... Uh... A Christmas tour with these songs so I'll be going some shows in the Northeast or um, like you said um, in Georgia well, mm-hmm. like we were talking in, in Athens uh, yes Athens Georgia and also a couple shows in Tennessee out west so just a little everywhere so you can go to my website davidarcheletta.com and see if I'll be in your neck of the woods yeah it's gonna be Pierce. I'd love to have you come here. Yes, go out and see David too. Yes, at, yeah, we'll be there to uh, to support you, David, and see you in Athens. And uh, yeah, hopefully all of our uh, fans that watch or fans in Georgia will go see. And if you don't live in the Georgia area, uh, you, there's still hope. <laughs> you just go, head over to his website. We'll have all the information down below and on our website as well, iHollywood.tv. All right, David. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the show. And it was a pleasure to have Thanks you on. Thanks for having me. Best of luck, happy holidays, and come back anytime. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Bye. Take care.